welcome to our high school bangsu we are going to study about numbers today so we already studied about the numbers we have studied real numbers natural numbers and many more like that real numbers and natural numbers we have studied in 8th and 7th class now we are going to study about numbers rational numbers and irrational numbers so these are new term for you rational you also studied about rational and irrational numbers in 8th class so we know first right definition rational numbers rational numbers which numbers that can be written in the form of p upon q p and q are the numbers which can be positive or negative so here are two terms p and q so rational numbers which numbers that can written in the form of p upon q so we can write the numbers which can be written in the form of form of p upon q okay and also q is not equal to zero because if q is equal to zero then this term will become infinite so we can't define it so here is q is not equal to zero and in rational numbers the numbers which opposite to rational numbers if these are written in the form of p upon q so we can say which numbers that cannot be written in the form of p upon q okay so the numbers numbers which cannot minus a difference can be written cannot be written in the form of in the form of p upon q okay jo p upon q ke form mein likhe jaye that is real number or sorry rational numbers and that cannot be written in the form of p upon q that is called irrational numbers so here is some examples Here is one number is one. One is a number. So we can write one like this one upon one because no difference if we take denominator as one. Okay. So we can say this is p and this is q. So we can say this is in the form of p upon q. So we can say one is also rational number and all numbers that can written in the form of p upon q we can see that is rational number if we can't write in the form of p upon q that is called irrational number so we detail the talk about rational numbers here because first chapter in ninth class about rational numbers so we totally talk about rational numbers so if i say that between 1 and 3 
how many rational numbers exist between one and three. So we can see there is only two, but that's not true because one and three between these numbers many more numbers exist like this one point one, one point two, one point three, one point four. So we can say between one and three infinite numbers exist, and we can write two in the form of two upon one. So we can say this is in the form of p upon q, and q is not equal to c. So this is also a rational number. So like this, we can write upon one, 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 and all are in the form of p upon q. Here q is not equal to c. So infinite numbers can exist between one and three. Okay. So Question one: Find three rational numbers between five and ten. So we can easily write: There is exist. Seven, eight, and nine. We have to find only three. So we can write in the form one, one, one. Because there is no effect of one if we write it in the denominator. Okay. And these four numbers are in the form of p and one q. Q is necessary for rational numbers. If there is no exist q, we can't say that this is rational numbers. So. These are less than okay. So the simple question for the homework question right. We talk about rational number detail after that. Huh? So we have to we have to first solve these two questions. After that, we will discuss about rational number and more difficult questions. Okay.